How's it going guys? My name is Ted, bringing you guys some HTC M7 rumored specs today. Um, this is a device that HTC is, is doing a really bad job of keeping underhand. Um, people are getting the device, people are seeing the user interface changes, people are seeing a lot of information about this device surface, and um, I'm going to call these rumors because it hasn't officially been announced yet. However, we have seen many pictures of this device, we've heard many rumors that all agree with each other. Um, I don't want to bring you guys total bullshit, <laughs> that's not the point of my channel. I look at a lot of information and I process what I find to be accurate and then I give it to you guys. Let's get into the episode of the rumored specs for the HTC M7. So the biggest thing about this device is it's 4.7 inch 1080p display. Never before have we seen a device lower than 5 inches have a full HD 1080p display. 4.7 inch display is also very handheld and it makes sense considering that their 1X series last year uh, got released at Mobile World Congress had the 4.7 inch display as well. Moving on, you're also coming with the new Snapdragon S4 Pro processor that's overclocked to 1.7 gigahertz. This is of course a quad-core CPU, which gives you insane power, something we've never seen before. Um, previously in all the phones we've had those 1.5 gigahertz dual-core or 1.5 gigahertz quad-core CPUs from Snapdragon. Now we're coming with the overclocked 1.7 gigahertz version. A lot of power behind this phone. Moving on, you're also coming with 2 gigabytes of RAM, pretty standard for any flagship device nowadays, as well as 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. That's really good. Um, it's not expandable. HTC really doesn't like to expand your storage for whatever reason. However, 32 gigabytes is normally enough for most users. Um, if you have to use more than that, there's always the cloud. Uh, any, any guy that uses more than 32 gigs is going to know to use Dropbox, something like that. So for most users, that's going to be plenty of storage. As far as your camera, you're coming with a 13 megapixel rear facing and a 2 megapixel front facing. Very standard for phones nowadays that are coming out with the flagship devices. Um, that's a lot of pixels and uh, they both record in 1080p. So for the front facing calls, you can still have 1080p quality. One of the great features of this device is its aluminum unibody design. This is a great device feature. If you look at some of the photos, it looks like a fantastic setting device, as all of HTC devices are. However, in the past, HTC's normally gone with those uh, polycarbonate designs. A full unibody aluminum design is going to be really, really fantastic, and it's really going to compete with the iPhone for that uh, aesthetic beauty of an Android device. Previously, all the Android devices have had plastic and uh, maybe glass in the case of the Nexus 4, but a full unibody uh, aluminum design is going to be absolutely beautiful. Cannot wait to see this device be unveiled. We're hoping for a Mobile World Congress unveiling like they did with the HTC One series last year at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona in February. Hopefully again this year we'll see it um, just about a month away here. And until then, I'm going to keep you guys updated with the latest and greatest on Android news. One last thing I'm going to note about this device is it's coming with a new version of Sense, HTC Sense 5.1. This is a huge upgrade. It's a very minimalist design. I'll throw some photos up throughout the video so you can get a better understanding of the user interface. But some, some photos have leaked. It looks very clean, looks very crisp. It's not the heavy user interface with very big uh, gaudy designs that they've had in the past. Now it's very minimalist and I definitely like minimalist, um, especially on a device like this. You're also coming with Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, that's pretty common. And uh, if any updates to this story occur, I'll let you guys know. If you want to stay updated to the latest and greatest Android news, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.